Hey everyone, this is Dan Wu from Next Tech Group again, and welcome to part two of our series on the Acumatica Construction Edition. Check out part one if you missed it or if you need more information, but let's jump right back in from where we left off. Um, okay, so a little bit of what we're going to kind of go through next as we move over to Chad. Um, so we're going to do an overview. I definitely want to get make sure you understand the kind of look and feel and the navigation of moving around the system. Um, we're going to spend some time in the dashboards. Um, and then we're going to go through some of the construction modules and kind of try to do, again, we don't have a ton of time in an hour or really half an hour. Um, we're really going to do a little bit of a day in the life of a project manager, you know, task management, um, how you do a billings, uh, managing changers, worrying about compliance on, on your subcontractors and, and, uh, and vendors, suppliers. And then uh, talk and show a little bit more around the construction and reporting. Um, and, uh, and then we'll go into QA after that. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to I'm going to turn this over to Chad and Chad's going to go ahead and take over. I think Brian's going to move that away from me to him and uh, he'll start uh, taking you through the product. So I'm at the login screen, like Chris mentioned. Uh, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to log in the system. There's nothing to load. To Chris's point, you can use any browser out there. So if you're using Safari, Edge, um, Explorer today, I'll be using Edge so you can see what my screen looks like. Okay. Now, when I log in, it's important to know that this is a role-based system. Um, so when I log in today, I'm logging as administrator and I'm seeing everything that's in our system, but uh, I am also able to differentiate what users will see when they log in. So I have my top message board, my message uh, menu across the top of the screen where I can do things like search, have an Acumatica home button, uh, and like you saw, log in and, and change user preferences. On the left-hand side, we have workspaces, and these are the workspaces that are available inside of Acumatica. So I have everything from uh, you know my favorites, my easy-to-use navigation, to my uh, accounting pieces, right? My finance, banking, all that. And then today we're going to focus on the construction piece, which is made up of construction, compliance, project management time and expense services. Really today, because we have a short time to show you an overview of Acumatica, we're gonna focus on the construction, project management and compliance pieces, as well as uh, dashboards. Yeah. So the thing I wanted to start off with is this nice dashboard right in the middle of my screen. And you can see I have a project overview dashboard. Uh, like Chris talked about in his opening, this gives me the ability to kind of navigate directly anywhere in the system through my dashboard and to make it easy and smooth. So it's all kind of a one-stop shop for all of my needs inside of Acumatica. Uh, across the top, I have my search button, just to talk about that real quick, the construction edition. It's got a very powerful search engine to it. So for example, if I wanna type in a word like compliance, cause I wanna look something up, I wanna just give you a quick, what shows up. So I have four items when it comes up on a search, I could do a menu item. So anywhere where compliance would come up in a menu, if I spelled it right, um, I can have help, talk, help topics, I can drill in and get training. So not only from Acumatica website, but within Acumatica as well, I could then come and click in compliance management, for example, and look up detailed information on how to do things through a wiki. So when I'm back on my dashboard, going to my home screen, um, I can search again, I can set any user preferences and users have the ability to set up these menu items any way that they would like, whether they wanna see just construction in instances, whether they wanna see a specific dashboard, whether they wanna come into a list view that's helping them manage tasks throughout the day, they have the ability to change those. As a system, again, we have the ability by role to define what they see by coming in to the system. So the first thing I want to do uh, is kind of go through these workplaces here, and then we're going to come back and, and dig into really more of a, a day in a life and how we'd manage a construction piece. So one of the big benefits of Acumatic construction is this ability to have everything in one place. Uh, when I log into my system, I can do easy to do tasks. I have tiles across the top. In this case, I can create a new project. I can create a new project task, or I can come back in, look at transaction records, look at my projects, look at my tasks, um, and then 
look at all the different reporting items I have. And there's quite a bit that comes with the consulting edition of those reports. Um, as I move through these items, there's really only two views with inside of Acumatica, which makes it so easy to use. So if I want to look at my projects and I click on it, I will get a list of my projects that are able to be viewed. And from that, I can do a couple of things. One nice item I can have is open the detailed record, but I can also slice and dice my data any way I want. And you see that I have these tabs across the top of the screen. If there's something that I would like to sort this by, I already have it up there, but I could drag status up there and drop it. And then I can come up and drop my bar down and filter my search or anything I want to. If I want to edit the way one of these work, I can click on or the columns and I can click on my little column button there. And I can drag and drop items back and forth from my configuration to get my view um, easily used the way I want to see it and the way I want to look. I can dump it to Excel very easily by clicking on my um, Excel item on top. Now, just to give you a quick review, we're going to go into some detail for a specific one in a minute. But when I come into my Acumatica screen, I can see uh, the detail part across the top and tabs. I will review these in a minute as we get into kind of the day in life and what I'm using as, as a system. But that's really it as far as the navigation to make this very, very easy. I can go to my workspace again and see everything that I want to work with that has to do with my construction environment or if I was looking at my um, AR, AP, that kind of thing, and my financial information, or I can drive in through a dashboard. And this is really where we're going to spend our, our time today, uh, starting with these dashboards. The first thing I want to show is that these dashboards are completely configurable. So we can add these widgets all through the system. This one has a lot of information on it, starting by cost by project, or I can click anywhere I see a hyperlink to drill into the record in greater detail. I can have bar graphs, pie charts, as you can see, remaining estimate by project. Um, I can have different wikis. This one's a pretty cool wiki that comes in and shows me the camera angle from my job site. Uh, by dropping it down, I can actually look at camera views. I can look at live video. I can look at time lapse. I can click in and pan around if I want to. And so it allows you to do everything from web items into my dashboard, as well as any measurements I want to see. If I want to click on any of these, I can click and drill down into them. And I have a couple of ways to do that. The first thing I can do is I can click on top on the label. And that will bring me the actual view where I can see everything in greater detail. And then again, slice and dice my data any way that I want to. If I'm in my dashboard and I want to go back to uh, just a specific item, I can. So today I'm going to be working with this Palm Estates project. Since we don't have a ton of time today, we're going to work with a project that's already um, being created. So when my record pulls up, we'll go over kind of detailed parts of this record uh, as if I'm a project manager, but you can see I have my summary data and I have everything I'm gonna work on the project with. And again, that was just by clicking on that line item on that data. I have several dashboards that I can use in the system and to show how I can lay out my system, I'm gonna show my favorites. So if I have items that are dispersed between my different workspaces, I can put them directly on my main form and have them available for me to go look at. So one is a project consultant, just to give you an idea what that looks like. So the system is set up, again, role-based, so I can see the different things based on the role I have. If I'm a project consultant, I can come into this dashboard and have it show up for me. And this one will come up and tell me what projects I'm on, where I'm assigned, what my tasks are. And you notice it's got a very uh, easy kind of stoplight approach to the uh, notification tiles there. So like Chris mentioned before, I could look and see, well, what do I have? What are my tasks outstanding? Um, you know, do I have overdue tasks that I need to work on? Do I need to enter timesheets so I make sure I'm billing my time to a, a construction project? And to show those, you just simply click on and go to those items. Before I do that, I want to mention that you have full power to set the parameters for these buttons so that I can have that yellow, red, and green status based on what I want it to be. If I have under 10 tasks and I want that to stay green, I can set it that way. And it's very easy to do that. I just go to my design area and I can actually populate those things with um, the, the parameters that I want to. If I want them over a certain number or past a certain date, I can make them red or yellow so they stand out and give you those notifications. Those can go all alongside the workflow tool that's built into Acumatica. 
which can also send you alerts, alerts and uh, emails. So if I you know, have a task that goes overdue by two days, I can have an automatic uh, notification that's filed off to let me know that I need to go back in and work with that notification. To see what's drilling down to that area, if I was in as a project consultant, when I click on it, I can then come in and see the tasks. And again, I can have tabs predefined um, and I can look at my open tasks in this case. I can do that just by clicking this little funnel here and I can define by Boolean logic, greater than, equals than, contains, those kind of things to show the data I want. So this one, I have the one that shows my open tasks and there are the four tasks that uh, were showing up on my dashboard. And I can see, you know, in this case assigned to me, I'm logging in as a project manager. When I would come in through my project manager dashboard, I'll see that I have these tasks. I need to run my weekly status report. Um, I need to do, uh, you know, review insurance certification and compliance. Is it out of, out of date range? Do we need to get an update? That kind of thing. Make sure that I am managing my day-to-day -day task. The other place I can come down is to my dashboard and see all the different dashboards that I have in my system. Um, so I have a project consultant dashboard, a project overview dashboard, which is one I originally showed, and then my project manager dashboard. And I'm going to use this dashboard to kind of run the rest of our navigation today as we go through the system. So as I come in, you can see that we have different information that we can have uh, to show us everything from my weather, right? My weather outlook to see if I'm going to have any problems and change location. I can pick any source I want, whether it's a local weather um, app or whether it's a weather channel, they all integrate basically into here. I have my tiles, which let me know everything that I'm working on today specifically as a project manager, right? So here I can come in and say I have 20 active projects. Uh, I've got late project tasks. I've got projects that are bill, real billing ratio that I need to pay attention to. Um, and I have, you know, my open tasks. I have items to approve. So these can be items that are fixes. In this case, you know, we have uh, a back flush labor. We have a stainless steel piece that needs to be ordered. Maybe it's a problem at a site. Um, project issues list, right? Uh, we have a long wrong lobby tile put on the floor we need to fix that so we're creating kind of a, a case if you will a project issue that can be managed and assigned by a project manager and anybody on the team that they will get the notification for to be able to go in and look at that i can come and look at all my change order log and see where i am where they're approved where they're not approved and again click directly into those to see the, what i'm looking at so these dashboards give you the ability to do a lot of that view in one place instead of having to go click like a lot of applications into those areas. So again, that one-stop shop between my dashboard and my construction uh, workspace. Thank you for watching part two of our Acumatica Construction Edition walkthrough. This is Dan Wu from Next Tech Group. Be sure to check out part one and part three for more information. And don't forget to like and comment to let us know your thoughts on this video and subscribe if you want to keep up with our latest work. Thanks everyone.